Good morning, Sam. I'm Josh. And I'm Katie. Today's show will be on friendship bracelets. More on this with my bestie after news and announcements. In breaking news this morning, yesterday, Elon Musk struck a deal to buy Twitter for around $44 billion and a victory by the world's richest man to take over the influential social network. Twitter agreed to sell itself to Musk for $54.20 a share, a 38% premium over the share price this month before he revealed he was the company's single largest shareholder. It would be the largest deal to take the company private, something Musk has said he will do with Twitter, in at least two decades. The deal, which was unanimously approved by Twitter board, is expected to close this year, subject to a vote of shareholders and certain regulatory approvals. In other news, Syracuse police claim when someone opened fire on Sunday afternoon in Skunk City, a man was shot in the buttocks along with another bullet shot at a vehicle. Police were called to the 700th block of Belouv Avenue at around 4 p.m. for a report of a shooting. When police arrived, a 24-year-old man was found with gunshot wounds in the buttocks. The man was taken to Upstate University Hospital and is expected to survive. The Supreme Court is tackling a case against a praying football coach. Joseph Kennedy, a former football coach at Bremerton High School, would kneel in the center of the field after games and lead students in prayer. Kennedy's lawyers say the freedom of speech in the Constitution allows him to pray on the field. The school district said praying before games could interfere with students' own religious freedoms, and the school district is currently trying to work out a solution with Kennedy so he could pray privately before games. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The ESM Masterminds completed their first final regular season meet in, at Skinny Ellis on Monday. Gordon Gallery, Ronald Gerbert, Max Newman, and R. Schofield carried the team for two wins over the Union Springs and win each over Skinny Atlas and Moreva, taking the Spartan record to 12-0 on the season. This is the first time the school masterminds team has ever finished the season unbeaten. So congratulations, Spartans. Good luck in the playoffs. There will be a key club meeting after school in room C4 today. So friendship is very important to me and Katie. Showing it in bracelet form always shows commitment. The bracelet is worn to honor the time, energy, and love put into the friendship. Well, I know my bestie's favorite color, blue. My bestie's favorite color is teal. Each charm we choose symbolizes something special we have together. In summer, Josh and I are planning to hang out more and eat a lot of sushi, because during the school year we are very busy. Well, some of us are busy. Let's see what's going on outside today. Today is going to be a bit cooler than the last two days. Unfortunately, it is not going to be 80 degrees and sunny. Today is going to be cloudy and in the 50s with some rain. Tomorrow is going to be 42 degrees with a 48% chance of, rain, of snow. Today we have a high of 57 degrees and tomorrow we have a low of 45, a high of 45 degrees. And I'm Paige with your weather. So now we're going to look at some pictures of Katie and I's adventure and friendship. Starting off with the first one, we went on a great trip. It was so fun. I loved all the penguins. It was nice to see all the sea otters. Wait, are they in <laughs> This shows us in Egypt next to um, my favorite animal, a camel. 
Oh, I love um, Italy. The food was so good. It was so good. I like that little cheese thing, whatever it's called. Great Wall of China. Yep. That was a good venture. We're we'll climbing in. Oh, this was my favorite. In oh, Australia. I love the kangaroo. Yeah. Oh, this is Greece. I loved all the food. It was so good. The water is amazing there too. Olives. So let's see what's going on with sports today. To Brazel, Brazel shot off the stick, and then Kessler gets it by James for the goal. Palem wins the faceoff. In transition is Palem. Shot. It is good. He goes high. And it, with two minutes and ten seconds remaining here in the first half, ESM leads JD 8-4. The boys lacrosse team scored a big win over JD last night. 12-10 leading the Spartans last night. His senior, Jackson Palem, who scored six goals. Eric Marker and Evan DeBurgis both had two goals. Dominic Caruana and Logan Welch. Both had a goal, Evan Burgess and Trey Jones both had three assists, and Luke James had a great game in making 12 saves. The boys tennis team also won against Cortland yesterday. All the double teams won, including Chris, uh, Jay Storms, Donovan Randall, Jacob Harmon, Ari Oviedo, Joe Lavani, and Carter Jacobs and Luke Tumalti. Uh, Boston Celtics pulled out brooms last night and swept the uh, Brooklyn Nets after a 116 to 112 win in game four. The boys baseball team plays at Syracuse City at 4.30. The softball team has a game at home against JD at five. Boys and girls track have a meet at Fulton, Fulton against JD and Fulton at 5.30. We wanted to thank you for watching and everyone here on the morning show wish you to have a great day.